Uh, so, I will uh, quickly uh, look at another small uh, topic uh, which is known as uh, CMOS uh, scaling. Okay. Uh, so, if you see here, uh, uh, this we discussed in the very uh, first class also. Uh, like uh, when we uh, right now from 180 nanometer technology or, or now beyond that, now with every uh, <coughs> three to four years, we find that the technology is been uh, scaled. Okay. Uh, when we when I say technology is been uh, scaled, it means the uh, uh, device feature, the minimum feature size of the device is being uh, 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 decreased. Okay, so you have a uh, higher packing density, right? Uh, and also the overall performance is uh, uh, is uh, better now because of the uh, decreased capacitances uh, associated with these uh, uh, small uh, sized. So uh, essentially, uh, by while decreasing the size of the uh, devices. Uh, we are gaining on uh, two uh, major uh, uh, issues. Uh, one is the capacitance decreases, uh, because of which, if you see here, we we have already uh, learnt uh, uh, how capacitance uh, becomes an uh, uh, factor uh, uh, in, in in delay as well as in power, right? Uh, so so you will find a decrease in capacitance and uh, because of the uh, shrinkage of the size of the devices and also higher packing density. So these are the uh, two driving factors uh, which uh, uh, to for a technology uh, scaling okay now uh, current technology uh, scaling uh, has threefold objective reduce the gate delay okay uh, so by 30 percent so if you uh, decrease the size of the capa devices okay so the capacitance decreases so you uh, normal so obviously the uh, delays will be uh, reduced okay uh, now uh, okay along with the capacity uh, uh, capacitance uh, 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 no, when uh, is being uh, reduced you have to ensure that the current levels are are not reduced okay uh, so you have to try and maintain the current levels and that is the uh, reason uh, because <coughs> the vdd is reduced because of to keep the uh, electric fields constant uh, but threshold voltage also requires to be uh, decreased so if you keep the current level same and decrease the uh, capacitance only then uh, we can achieve a uh, reduced uh, uh, <coughs> gate delays okay uh, double the uh, transistor density okay that is because of the uh, and say 50 percent okay uh, 50 percent of the power uh, we say because again the dynamic power because of the capacitances are now uh, lesser okay so these are the uh, 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 objectives of uh, scaling now uh, how it is scaling is done uh, so uh, so we are going to essentially uh, discuss a constant and uh, field scaling uh, in which the vdd is also uh, reduced so okay uh, so that the field electric field remains constant so, if the electric field remains constant, so the electrostatic you know, behind the operation of the devices, they don't uh, change and, and there will be no you know, junction breakdowns. So, when you reduce you know, a device dimension, you uh, reduce the VDD also proportionately. Okay. So, all device dimensions are reduced you know, by an, a factor you know, 1 by alpha. So, alpha is greater than 1. So, you, uh, so, so that is you know, uh, 1 by alpha. So, that is why we say we are going to uh, reduce it. So, concentration densities are uh, increased by uh, alpha. Okay. Uh, why do we uh, increase the con? Because if you see here, uh, the junction uh, depletion layers, which will be formed when two junctions are placed uh, together, okay, uh, that will be uh, proportional to the, uh, the width will be inversely proportional to the uh, 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 concentrations, right. So, if you, uh, when your device size is uh, shrinking, those depletion layers also re requires to be uh, thinner now. So, hence you know to increase the concentration uh, densities also. Uh, device voltages are uh, uh, reduced by 1 by alpha. That is for constant voltage scaling. So, uh, so uh, it is not done in all scaling methods. So, we will see that there is an, uh, one more scaling method. Uh, we will see that also. But uh, initially, we are going to speak about uh, voltage, uh, no, uh, constant electric field scaling. Uh, so, so, in that uh, we are going to reduce the voltage also by a factor 1 by alpha so for for each generation when we move from one generation to other uh, one by uh, alpha is uh, uh, approximately uh, uh, 0 0.7 and uh, that means uh, alpha is an, uh, around uh, uh, 30 percent so every time uh, we are reducing the device size by 30 percent okay uh, so one by alpha comes out to be around uh, 0 0.7 okay uh, now if you see here a uh, vdd it is uh, reduced uh, here okay so you have vdd by alpha a uh, gate length is l by alpha so the gate length is also reduced a uh, width is also uh, reduced a uh, gate oxide thickness is also uh, reduced out here 
uh, junction depth also gets uh, reduced because of the uh, increased concentration. A uh, substrate uh, doping okay, uh, gets uh, uh, increased out here. We said we need to increase the uh, substrate. Uh, so, this is known as constant uh, uh, field scaling because the electric field uh, 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 across the gate oxide does not change when the technology is uh, scaled. Okay, if the uh, supply voltage is maintained constant, then it is known as constant voltage uh, scaling. And then uh, th there is a possibility of a uh, gate oxide breakdown. Okay, so generally we use constant field scaling only. So this constant voltage scaling is uh, not uh, generally uh, used. Okay, so generally we follow uh, constant field scaling only. Okay, uh, so let's see uh, uh, what are the consequences of uh, scaling. Okay. So, what about the uh, device, uh, uh, die area? Obviously, it is W into L. So, so the net uh, uh, gain will be 1 by alpha square. So, you will find that uh, uh, the uh, uh, area required uh, for a particular uh, circuit or a particular uh, device is now uh, reduced by a factor of uh, 0.49. Uh, now, what about the transistor density? Uh, because obviously, since the device size is small, uh, the transistor density increases by uh, uh, alpha square which is 2.04 out here so you will have an increased uh, transistor uh, density uh, with scaling right what about the uh, gate capacitance now if you see the total uh, gate capacitance is given by w into l uh, area by uh, t ox right uh, so w and l are both are uh, 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 by uh, decrease by 1 by alpha whereas uh, uh, t ox is also reduced so, one, uh, now, uh, now, 1 by alpha effect gets cancelled. So, the gate capacitance actually uh, has only 1 by alpha here. Okay. So, it, it, it is 0.7. Uh, it gets reduced by a factor of uh, 0 0.7. So, now, the gate capacitance is uh, reduced by a factor of uh, 0 0.7. Uh, what about the uh, drain uh, current out here? Now, if you are assuming the Vt to be uh, constant, so, you have an, a VDD uh, W by L in the ID equation, right? Uh, you have an, a, a, an, a capacitance, right? Uh, and you have an, a V square, VGS minus VT square also, right? So, if you see here, a W by L, an, a, this gets cancelled, okay? You have VDD, uh, VTS, you are assuming an, a, a, that is an, a reduced proportionately, okay, VTS, sorry. So, so VGS minus VTH, an, so, so that effect, an, a, that is in the numerator. So, you have a square there you have an uh, cox right so uh, cox is an uh, again an, uh, it, it is an, uh, we saw the gate capacitance it is reduced by an, uh, 0.7 so you have one reduction here so the net effect of drain current is it, it is going to uh, reduce an, uh, slightly by an, uh, 0.7 out here right uh, what about the uh, uh, gate and uh, uh, delays okay now if you see uh, the uh, delays out here is Okay, a delay is given by uh, C into V divided by I. Okay, greater capacitance, greater voltage uh, by the current. Okay, now, so if you have great cap more uh, capacitance and, and, and more voltage, uh, no, for no, high voltage means you will require that much more time for the capacitance to get charged uh, and it is uh, inversely proportional to the current because higher current means faster uh, uh, charging up. So, you will find the uh, total uh, delay is reduced out here. So, if you uh, see, if you uh, put these in a uh, uh, capacitance is reducing by 0 0.7, now uh, voltage is reduced by 0 0.7 and, and, and you have an, uh, 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 a current in the denominator which is uh, 0.7. So, you have an, uh, 2.7 in the numerator. So, you will have a uh, 0.7 out here. So, that is a gate uh, delay. So, it is uh, operating at a uh, fast, these gates can be operated at a faster rate. Uh, so, although the current is slightly uh, lower. Uh, but because both these in the in the, in the delay you have you know, two things coming in the numerator the overall uh, gate delay is uh, lesser and hence the frequency can be increased 1.43 uh, uh, okay uh, so uh, but uh, along with this right so there have been a lot of an uh, architectural uh, level optimizations pipelining and things like that so it is not that with voltage scaling the frequency has you know, increased at this rate it has actually uh, no, gone up at, uh, at, at much higher, no, uh, faster because of uh, uh, several other uh, no, techniques which have been uh, used like, like, like pipelining and uh, things like that, right? So, we started off with few megahertz, now we have reached uh, gigahertz, okay? So, not only because of the scaling, the frequency, now we are able to operate at much uh, higher frequency uh, because of uh, no, architectural and uh, uh, algorithm level uh, optimization also, okay? So, they also uh, play a big uh, part in 
uh, increasing the uh, performance okay uh, now if you see uh, power okay power is an uh, c and a v square uh, f these are the things which come in the power equation right so if you, if you substitute if capacitance is reduced voltage is reduced and frequencies uh, increase so if you uh, put all these things value here uh, so uh, f uh, increase in frequency gets com compensated by the decrease in capacitance but the decrease in voltage here square is available so the net effect is a redu reduction in uh, power okay uh, now a uh, power density power density is like you know, uh, along when the power is reducing but at the same time now uh, you have like it 0.49 whereas the number of chips per unit area if i go back here uh, if I here right the per unit area no? so that is alpha square now the transistor density is increased by uh, alpha square uh, whereas the power is again uh, uh, reduced by alpha square so the power density uh, remains uh, same out here right okay so so you find here okay but then still the power is uh, uh, yeah, uh, <coughs> Uh, increasing uh, because actually uh, uh, f is not an uh, 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 proportionate to the voltage scaling f is increased at a much higher rate uh, so generally this we are uh, assuming that uh, 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 f, f is not increased uh, uh, exponentially but f has actually gone uh, uh, exponentially and, and and also the static leakage currents also have uh, gone up uh, uh, so and hence the power density now, although theoretically in it, it is one out here but then the in practical cases the power density has uh, gone very very uh, high okay uh, so uh, this is about an uh, power density uh, and then uh, interconnects also right so as you uh, see as we are moving uh, so higher uh, uh, interconnect uh, density also has gone up because of the reduced a uh, width okay uh, so reduced width has an, an, an increased the resistances uh, then you have denser uh, you can have an, a high density uh, interconnects because of multi uh, metal layers also right okay so dense uh, but but there are other drawbacks like you know, because of denser interconnects you have an, a higher capacitance these days okay so uh, increased in uh, parasitics okay so uh, these are the some of the issues uh, which uh, interconnects uh, because of the high packing a density of the interconnects and you can uh, expect these uh, issues coming up so this is an uh, uh, one uh, so if you if we so there uh, if you summarize the constant in a, uh, on a, on a field uh, a constant in a, uh, field effects so uh, this is what the length is being reduced by 1 by s uh, width is reduced by uh, uh, 1 by s a T ox VDD is reduced and a VTO is also reduced okay uh, uh, doping densities have to be uh, increased to keep the uh, junction uh, 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 depletion layers uh, within control uh, the uh, area is reduced by 1 by s square okay uh, uh, beta is WL by T ox so, so that uh, that gets increased okay uh, uh, drain currents you know, okay uh, is, it gets reduced out here but the gate capacitance also reduces you know, proportionately uh, transistor on resistance you know, VDD by IDS and uh, if you substitute you know, from here uh, the, these are the values okay? so these equations are available so they that remains uh, intrinsic gate delay okay this is important that which reduces by 1 by alpha uh, clock frequency uh, here it, it says it, it remains you know, the same uh, but then we know that the you know, the, this is not actually the same but it has been uh, increase because of other factors out here okay when we uh, speak uh, uh, solely from technology scaling point of view uh, we can say that uh, fs and uh, r remained constant out here uh, power dissipation has gone down by one by s square and power dissipation per unit area has uh, remained uh, one out here okay obviously this doesn't uh, this one doesn't carry uh, cater for the increased uh, frequency and also for the uh, increased static leakage okay so you could have constant voltage scaling also uh, here the difference from uh, here to um, here is the supply voltage is not uh, scaled out here right? and 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 since you are not uh, scaling down the uh, supply voltage you can afford to keep the threshold voltage also the same okay from the pre as we move from one technology to other so if you see these are the two things which we keep constant here supply voltage and since the supply voltage is not scaled there is no requirement to change the uh, threshold voltage uh, so so but this is not really applicable for 
uh, subthreshold and uh, scaling now okay we can't uh, afford to do that because the high electric fields is going to destroy the effects nevertheless but initially when we started off you know uh, from and 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 micron technology you know, then and the, 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 this was done okay for for few technologies constant voltage you know, wa was done and then subsequently when we uh, came into you know, deep sub micron uh, in the sub micron technology uh, the, this this was you know, uh, applicable in those days okay uh, so again these all these equations gets you know, modified so you can uh, have a look at uh, how these things get you know, affected out here okay but uh, this is not no more uh, in work now now we are uh, everything is done in constant and uh, field technology okay uh, so uh, another thing and what has actually uh, enabled this technology uh, scaling is uh, advance in uh, lithography uh, finally uh, how far in you can make the uh, how accurate you can make the masks and and uh, how you can uh, through those masks uh, how you are able to uh, do the ion implantation and diffusion uh, that is what uh, actually uh, defines uh, the, uh, the, uh, the minimum uh, feature length size right so so lithography is the uh, one of the most important uh, so advanced in lithography has actually uh, enabled shrinking of the devices okay so you uh, started off with uh, mercury xenon lamps and uh, now we are using uh, for uh, uh, 13.4 nanometer uh, extreme and uh, uv lithography okay so this is uh, just those who are interested can uh, study more about it and uh, now we also have something known as electron beam uh, lithography okay uh, so those are interested in uh, technology aspect uh, there's uh, some good literature available on the net so you can uh, go through these also okay and uh, not for this particular course but otherwise uh, those are working in the uh, technology domain so uh, uh, here you have patterns are derived directly from the uh, digital data there is no requirement of you know, a mask okay uh, the, so this is an uh, equipment is costly but this is the uh, thing which is an uh, uh, I'm going to be there in for the uh, lower technologies like uh, 7 nanometer 5 nanometer uh, so these are all implemented using electron beam uh, lithography okay uh, so uh, with this uh, we come to an end of this class and also this uh, course